Are you about to write or are thinking of investing in the course path and beginning the journey to writing the Certified Penetration Testing Specialist or CPTS by Hack the Box? Let's break down the costs and go through my experience of writing the exam. Who is the certification for and how does it compare to others for penetration testing? There's also a nice caveat to completing the penetration test the job role path, which is the path that contains the content for the CPTS course. This makes doing certain other Hack the Box courses a bit cheaper. Stick around to the end to find out more. Hack the Box runs off a subscription payment model, or you can purchase a Hack the Box currency called Cubes. These cubes can then be used to pay for modules in a chosen learning path. If you've given yourself a time period to write and you're sure you are going to be consistent and not waste weeks or months, and you don't have too much work going on, then go the subscription route. It will be slightly cheaper. If you're like me that I had to fit my learning around work and other things like YouTube and an ADHD level amount of other hobbies, then maybe going the cube route is the best solution. That way you're not wasting money on months slash weeks where you do not work on the course. Also, if you are a student, you can sign up using your student email and you could be eligible for the student subscription plan, which is a lot cheaper. It's only $8 a month and you get direct access to the bug bounty, penetration tester, and SOC analyst job role paths. And if you decide to lock in, then you can switch to the subscription route. Note that this video is not sponsored by Hack the Box. However, we do have an affiliate link in the description that you can use. The exam cost is actually around about $252, including VACT. I don't know why I said roundabout, it's actually exactly that. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into my exam experience. In terms of the course content, you get loads, 28 modules in total. These all have their own rated difficulty. For the pen test, the path, the modules are rated between easy and medium. But you will cover enumeration, footprinting and exploiting services and applications, file transferring and pivoting, tunneling and proxying, web and injection attacks, privilege escalation on Windows and Linux machines, and a little bit about enumerating and attacking Active Directory environments with some report writing. Modules are made up of sections with each section containing a skill assessment for you to use what you've learned to answer questions or in some cases capture a flag. With that out of the way, let's get into my exam experience. Before writing, Hack the Box advises that you try out some of the pro labs to get used to being in an environment that would be similar to the exam. The labs that they recommend in order of difficulty are PRO, Dante, and Offshore. Now, I didn't do these because I felt like being in the job, I already have experience in these types of like uh, enterprise environments. However, I'm pretty sure there are some other free labs that you could attempt that would give you a similar feel to how it would be in an exam. It is a long 10 day exam and they try and fit as much from the learning path into the exam as possible. This is web attacks, application attacks, privilege escalation on both Linux and Windows, some Active Directory attacks. And if you didn't pay attention in your pivoting and tunneling module, if you haven't learned how to pivot or tunnel before, there will be double pivots and pivots in the exam. So if you haven't learned that, you'll be finding out how to do that in the exam. Especially in the beginning of the exam, focus on enumeration. There are a lot of rabbit holes. Really focus on discovery and don't attack everything that you see straight off the bat as it comes because you will find yourself wasting time. Try to get some time off of work or if you're a student, try and do the exam during your holidays. I wasn't able to take leave for my exam and unfortunately I worked overtime most days during that period, which left me one day for reporting. I started reporting at 6 p.m. on Monday and I reported through the night without sleeping until Tuesday, nine o'clock in the morning, with my hand in time being an hour after that. Hint of the day, screenshot everything as you are doing the exam and also take good notes. If I hadn't have done this, I would not have finished and I probably would have had to retake. 
And the aim isn't to finish in 10 days, it's to finish in around about seven. So I have three days to write a quality report because they will fail you if it's not to a decent standard. This is what happened with Sai. The guy is the practical, however, he didn't think that they would think much about the report as long as there was one. Luckily, the exam comes with two attempts. So is this the right certification for you? If you've done junior certification or no certification at all, then I would say yes. Not that this is a junior exam, but the coursework should take you from zero, knowing nothing, all the way to being able to perform at least to a decent level on a real life penetration testing engagement. After the exam, if you come across things you haven't exploited before, like a new CMS, for example, you should be able to look at the CMSs that you've looked at in the CPTS course material and apply those attack vectors to the new CMS if they are applicable. If not, you should be able to do research on it and find new exploits that you didn't know about. If you've got a solid understanding of the techniques used to test web applications, AD environments, and to perform privileged escalation, then I would suggest a course that focuses more on a field of interest or a specific niche. The CRTO for red teaming, Maldev for malware creation and deployment, the OSEP for AD environments, etc etc if you are thinking of choosing between this and the ocp the cpts will get you to the similar point in terms of knowledge and skill with the cpts also being monumentally cheaper the ocp comes in around about 1750 dollars for three months access and a single exam attempt this will look better on your cv because this is the industry standard for penetration testing for now a cool thing to know before going into your CPTS coursework, all the job paths are made up of a subgroup of modules that are available on the site. So by completing the penetration test, the job path, you would have completed 55% of the job path required for writing the CBBH. Hack the box of certified bug bounty hunter. If you have completed the CPTS and are looking for your next big certification, another great one is Zero Point Security's CRTO. Simon just finished that exam and has made a review on it. It'll be somewhere on the screen. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.